Alright, hello Ace of Spades players. It's Ryan here and I'll be teaching you how to edit the iron sights and the PNG files in Ace of Spades. I said last episode when I was um, modding the sounds that I'd work on the player skins next, but I'm just going to do this since it's a little bit easier. So I just recorded this, I was almost done, and then the phone rang, so I had to start over. So it was an advertisement too, it wasn't a real person, so that kind of sucks. But So you need to... um. <clears throat> My throat hurts now, but you need to download some kind of picture editing softwares, any software that can handle transparency, which I think will be would be good if it can handle transparency. It can't be like MS Paint or um, Windows Paint, I think that's what it's called. Because when you look down the iron sights, there'll be a white background, so you can't won't be able to see anything. So you just need anything that handles transparency, either Photoshop, which I think is expensive. Or as I use GIMP, I'll put a link in the description. I think it's just as good as, maybe, probably not, but just as good as Photoshop. And um, it's free, so that's good. It's always free stuff, so always good. So what you want to do is open. You need to find your Ace of Spades folder. It might be in Program Files or Ace of Spades. I explained this before. No matter, I mean, it's wherever you put it. Then we're going to PNG. These are all the picture files. And in the new update, we have SMGs or just the regular rifle. I'll edit the regular rifle. be a little bit easier. So you might want to look up a tutorial on how to use GIMP. But I'll explain. This is just zooming. I just zoomed in so I can see better. So as you can see, I already edited this. Like I was I was just messing around like with my Nerf. I was like recording Nerf gun sounds with the modding um, the sounds. And then making this like Nerf gun looking iron sight. So I just messed with the colors and stuff. But we're going to edit a new one. So file open as layers. This would make this make sure that your new layer, your new iron sight that you either downloaded off Google, you just save as and then save it in your file and then import it as layers. Or open as layers at least. So let me go into pictures. And I saved on iron, iron sights. I have so many, so many pictures. Okay, iron sights, there it is. I think this might be from Counter Strike or Call of Duty. Doesn't matter. So what you want to do is layer transparency, and then add alpha channel. What this will do is whenever you cut something out, instead of being another white spot behind that, um, whenever you cut it out, it'll add a transparent transparent layer. So as layer, it's under layer transparency. Add alpha channel. Alpha channel, yes, okay. Then you take this little magical wand and this will select anything of the same color that's like touching. So why I just did it selected all the white stuff. And what I'll do is edit and then cut. Um so as you can see it just edited out this these black and gray, gray and dark gray colors, that's transparency. What I'm gonna do is make this a little bigger scale it up a little bit maybe 120 ooh 2000 no that's not good okay. actually yeah 2000 that's good damn it nothing happened okay um let me just delete this layer I did something wrong select this I'll make it a little bit bigger 140 okay scale you see this is not the best quality of an iron sight as got this off Google real quick for this tutorial. And there's also white stuff in the middle, so let me cut that out. Cut, or you can just hit delete, either or. Um you might want to this is a lasso. You can actually you can use it to click around and then you can cut stuff like that. You can zoom in really close to make it more circular. Oh, I better finish it off. And then you can cut, do whatever. But I'm just using the magical wand since it's a back background. And you're going to want to get a back background. That would be, the, or white background at least. White or black, both good. And this isn't the best quality, so it kind of cut out some of the iron sight. But make sure you find a good quality. So I'm do select none, which will unselect it. All view revert back out. Which I'll talk about drawing your own iron sights too. That's also fun if you want to make like a scope. Which I think I'll do this one for iron sights and then another tutorial for scopes. Make this a little bigger. Scale. Okay, we got that's good size. 
So what you want to do, when I made this um green and blue, no, not green and blue, green and orange, I um I made sure it was lined up the two iron sights, so I was aiming in the right spot. That's a very important thing. So as you can see, if I right there in the middle of the orange iron sight, if I place this right at the right spot, I should aim at the right spot. Hopefully, if you're good at aiming, but so this this is pretty decent so obviously you would have to get rid of this orange and green background so I'm gonna use the eraser for some reason it hasn't um letting me change my brush size brush so brush brush size lately so I'm just got to erase it all slowly and make sure you're selected in the layer section under the background so you can erase that and see you don't erase your new iron sights. Hmm hmm hmm. Okay. Yeah, this would normally be a bigger brush, but I messed up. Um, a lot of times when you mess with these um little um sidebars and then you open up GIMP again, it doesn't reset itself. So if you screw up, you're kind of screwed, unless you know how it works. So. This is looking pretty good except the crappy quality. So if you're happy with this, you you can select. If you're happy with this or if you want to do anything, just just look up a tutorial. You'll be able to change the colors if you want. It's good stuff like that. And you can see it's all transparent in the background. So to finish this off, I will file, save. Okay, actually, no, I don't want to. I really don't want to save it. But what you want to do is I'll just go into save as so I can show you. You want to save it over your um, file that you want to replace it with. So if this was the old iron sights right here, you'd save the new one on top of it as the same name. I'll say, do you want to replace it? Say blah, 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 that's good. But obviously I don't want to replace it because I really like this iron sight. So that's the basics of modding your iron sights. And I'll make a um, tutorial on how to make your own scope using drawing. But that's it for now. Okay, see you guys. And subscribe if you want to see the scope tutorial. If you can go back and watch some modding or sounds. And then the weapon skins I'll do in the future. And you'll have like a fully modded Ace of Spades. So see you guys and have a nice day.